The problem with choosing Manhattan as the trial location is that it is pro-Joe Biden. The attorney for former President Trump said on Sunday that given Manhattan's reputation as a stronghold of liberalism, the defendant's team would be amenable to shifting the trial to a location outside of Manhattan. The problem with the location is that Manhattan voted 87 percent for Joe Biden in the previous election, according to Jim Trusty, Trump's attorney, who spoke on ABC's This Week. Activism and liberalism are really strongholds there, and that permeates the entire process. The assertions made by Trusty that President Biden won Manhattan with 86.7 percent of the vote in 2020 are a continuation of those made by Trump himself. Trump was accused of 34 felonies linked to the falsification of business documents in connection with suspected hush money payments to Stormy Daniels and others before the 2016 election last week, making him the first sitting or past president to be charged with a crime. The former president has argued that the fact that his trial is taking place in Manhattan makes it an unfair process, and has suggested moving it to Staten Island, which is more Republican. He has also attacked the judge and prosecutor involved in the case. Very unequal location, with several areas that only supported Republicans by 1 percent. On the day of his arraignment on Tuesday of last week, Trump wrote in all caps on his Truth Social platform, this case should be relocated to adjacent Staten Island, would be a very fair and secure place for the trial. In addition, the strongly partisan judge and his family are well-known critics of Donald Trump. In a previous Trump-related case, he was unfairly disastrous, wouldn't disqualify himself, issued terrible jury instructions, and was tough to deal with during the witch hunt trial. His daughter currently works for the Biden-Harris campaign as well as Kamala. Trusty, however, asserted that despite Trump's request for the location to be changed and his indication of his preference for Staten Island, it is still a long way out for the process to consider motions like the one to drop the charges. We have a long way to go before we have to worry about venue changes or evidentiary-type motions, Trusty added. The case's subsequent hearing is scheduled for December.